Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. My last video I showed you how I made this card using the marble to create the background here. Um, but I said that I would come back for part two to show you how I did the paper piecing for the actual image. So uh, the paper pieces you're going to need for this is um, a scrap of the rose red and also a piece of your paper that you did the marbling on. First of all I'm going to stamp the baby image onto the rose red and I'm using stays on ink. So stamp that onto there and then I'm going to stamp the baby. I only really need the actual baby on this bit. And I will do this bit here. That's all right. That's just, I don't need the uh, cradle part on this one. Okay, so basically all I need to do is cut these shapes out and what I did with um, the pink one or at least the blue one previously what I need to do with the pink one I should say is cut around the cradle I think I went off camera there, didn't I? Sorry. Um, just cut around the black line, as close on the black line as possible. And I find it easier when I'm cutting out pieces like this uh, to use small scissors and actually turn the paper rather than turn the scissors. I know one of the ladies who comes to my classes, um, she finds it a lot easier to use big scissors. So really is up to your preference. I don't really need that bit, do I? That I think is the only dodgy piece where it's very would be very easy just to snip a little bit too far. I find that you've cut that bit off when you really don't want to. Oh, that's it. That's good. So where's my card gone? Here we go. So that's going to be adhered on there. And then I need to cut the baby out of this one. I will save this for possible future use on some project. Okay, so cut the baby out with the blanket I know some people really don't like cutting out like this but that's okay if you don't like doing this then obviously you can just colour the image in
let's ignore that bit for a minute. That's his her little curl of hair at the moment. Let's see if I can go back and trim it from this side. Let's see if I go. <laughs> when I have to do things little bits like this, I can understand why people say they don't like cutting things out. There we go. Now, what did I do? Did I cut the... Yes, I left the pillow there. Did I leave the pillow there? No, cut around the baby's head. Right, there we go. <clears throat> so to stick these pieces on, I use our two-way glue pen. And I like this because it really does everything. Now before you start using it, make sure that it's coming down so it'll make a puddle there. If it's doing that much, then you're going to be fine. just paint all over. And then pop that onto the baby. And then do the same with the cradle. I keep calling it a cradle, I suppose it's more crib really, isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? I think it really does make a, a some. It's a bit different, and that's what I like. And then what I do is I use the marker pen in Pink Pirouette, and just colour in the dots. The reason I've used my marble um, paper there is it just gives it a little bit of extra. It stops it being harsh white because all the background is being left as white. I wanted the baby and the blanket and everything to be softer. Go over it a second time just to get it a little bit darker. There we go. And then for the baby's face and hands, I'm using something that's not available now. This is a marker called Blush Blossom. Um, I wish Stamping Up would do it all the time because it is really lovely. Um, they, I bought this when they were doing it just as a special offer. Um, I wish they'd bring it back again because it's lovely. So what I do is I just colour a little bit onto one of my blocks. Really can't see it there at all. Um, but I just tilt it to make sure that uh, it's still there. Then I use one of our blender pens to make sure it's clean. And then pick up the colour. And I do this because it does help to dilute it. And then colour the baby's hands. And the baby's face.
I do the baby's little tuft of hair as pink as well. It's so tiny I can't be worrying about um, doing it any kind of a brown or something. And then I just do two little circles to give the baby nice rosy cheeks. There we go. Isn't that so cute? I think anybody who's just had a new baby would be delighted to receive a card like this. Okay, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this one, really. Um, anyway, I hope you've um, enjoyed watching this and thank you for joining me, thank you for coming back. Um, if you have any questions, whether it's to do with the marbling or about the paper piecing or anything else come to that, please contact me, I'd be very happy to help you. If you've enjoyed watching my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to buy any of the products that I've used here, um, please visit my website um, to visit my 24-7 online stamping up shop. Um, many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio!